What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a backflip MX-4 tonneau cover on your Toyota Tundra. So let's get right into that. Now a quick note before we get started, this install is going to be the same whether you have a long or a short bed truck. So obviously we're doing it on a short bed Tundra, but the steps are essentially exactly the same, so no need to sweat that. Now the other thing to note is that you may need to remove your Toyota cargo rails from inside here if you have that factory cargo system just because it gets in the way of the clamps. Now there are other options and Backflip has some kits that do work to drop those rails or move them out of the way to try and accommodate it depending on the kit. So that's another thing you can consider if you do want to use those. But in this case, we pulled them off our truck and we're gonna mount the cover as is. So with that being said, let's get started. First thing we gotta do is clean up this little metal rail at the front of the bed where the cab meets. And you just wanna use some sort of cleaner here that's alcohol based or isn't gonna leave a residue. You know, wipe the metal a little bit, get this prepped, so something like acetone or whatever may work well here. Then once you have it clean, we're gonna take this foam strip that comes into your kit and you're gonna run it just from the inside of that bed rail to the inside of the other side. Now we're gonna bring our rails into place and you can see underneath that they're usually marked left and right. So this is left, which means it's gonna be driver's side. And you're gonna to wanna to have that metal plate towards the front of the bed where the cab is. So we'll set this into place, kind of push it forward, make sure that that all lines up straight. And then we're gonna have three clamps for each side. These three clamps just go underneath and are gonna pinch the rail against the actual lip of the bed. And you're gonna use a 9 16th socket to tighten these down. Once you have all three clamps tight and fairly evenly spaced along this rail, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the other side. So now we're gonna bring the cover into place at the front of the bed here, kinda of set it down. And when you fold it out, the goal is that you want this flap to be kind of lined up with where these metal brackets are. And you'll see that this rubber seal is gonna sit over the foam we put down earlier. There we go. At the front of the tonneau here, you're gonna have two pre-drilled holes on each side. You can see that these line up with these buckles and essentially that's just an area to attach this belts to go across and keep the tonneau folded down if you're running with it open and going down the highway so that way it doesn't blow apart. Now when you do this the easiest way is to kind of lift this panel from the back so you can get the threaded inserts from behind. Then you're going to have some Phillips head screws that are going to drop in from the top to hold it down. Now to attach this panel down in the corners, you'll see there's some big holes that are drilled right here. And you're gonna have this peg that goes through the top of it and it'll kind of sit flush once you push it through. But after you get it through, you're gonna need to come up from the bottom. And with that peg, you're gonna have a little rubber seal as well as a kind of flat fender washer and a lock washer. And then you're gonna have this little sort of star shaped twistable knob that you can put on here. And you're gonna tighten that up to kind of pinch this to that metal bracket underneath. And that's really what gives this a firm attachment point to the truck. So I'm gonna push this through right now and then we'll go around the bottom and attach the rest.
while we're underneath here, you can go ahead and attach these drain tubes to the bottom. And there's just some little ports in the corner. Once you have that wiggled up into place, you can technically run this hose down through some rubber bed caps if you want, or just position it out of the way. But a lot of people just let it sit here in the corner so it just drains into the bed. So we're right at the final stretch now, but when you have your tonneau tipped up and it's kind of all the way retracted back here, you'll see that it's gonna sit against the cab in your back window. So what we need to do is apply these rubber bumpers here along this top edge. And it helps if you kind of set it here first to see where you need to put them. And you get three, so we'll run them across and then that gives us a way to position this up against the cab without having to worry about it rubbing the paint off. Now when we set this up into place, you can see that little rubber bumper is kind of pushing against the edge of the cab and that way we don't have metal on metal contact. So that is gonna be a wrap on this install for the Backflip MX4 tonneau cover. Overall, fitment looks super clean. I'm a big fan of these trifold covers in general just because they do offer some real protection here instead of having a vinyl cover that you could cut through. And this is of course gonna be weather sealed. It's got some UV protection on it. It's really designed to be outdoors on a truck being used the way you would use your pickup bed. So something like this is gonna be a great fit on this Tundra. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these covers for your bed, you can head down in the description below. We'll have some links that are gonna shoot you over to the website. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.